Welcome everybody to another Soul Cafe podcast. Today we're gonna have a more um, personal uh, podcast. This is about our relationship as a, how you can call it? Well, they call it international relationships or uh, transnational relationships. Mm, and like always, here is Mariana. This is Johnny. But we, we write some points for not losing the, the path. And so we'll start with the first one, which is the first one. So first thing um, is the language, the language barrier. Um, Because when I'm, I met him, uh, I already know uh, some English. I was influent. Yeah, even you're, I think you're pretty good. You're pretty good. Right now. No, even I'm, back then she was. I'm with him she every time, but she doesn't give herself enough credit. Yeah, I think for Mexicans it's a little hard. Sometimes speaking English because we always had this in our minds. Uh, like, if I am really saying the words in the right way, or if I'm like doing the the uh, the sentence the right way, and yeah, maybe. Yeah. So we yeah we choose to speak English. Uh, we actually have um, our made up language is Spanglish. That's our prior favorite, and sí. it's a mixture of. Her culture and my culture, so it works, and we found our like that's our main one that we 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 use, and it's really 80% English and like 20% Spanish. Okay. Um, we're trying to implement more Espanol, some Spanish in there, you know, more and more as I learn more. So you know, hopefully we can you know change it up as it, as it you know we grow. Yeah, moving the numbers. Yeah. The next uh, questions that I saw when looking up international relationships is what are some of the cultural differences? I think for me, between you and me, was like some different is the food. Oh yeah. Right, because as Oaxaca, I have some food gonna be like always on my plate. Like, um, the quesillo, or more known as Oaxaca cheese. If something is on my diet, no matter what, <laughs> and I think sometimes can be a little bit too much for him. I don't know. I mean, just Mexican uh, food in general, they always they use tortillas for everything, and I'm not like used to that, believe it or not. And salsa. Uh, and salsa, which is cool. I don't mind salsa. I like hot sauce and salsa, all those things. Uh, we're me as an American, I was used to that, but as a uh, Like the, the tortillas, every meal, I'm like, all right, can we give tortillas a break? It's, it's <laughs> literally <eat> breakfast, <laughs> lunch, and and then yeah, tostadas. Bro. Yeah, which is the which is Same tortillas. <laughs> They use my yeast set for everything. Yeah, we do. So that that's something there, but I, I like I like the food. I mean, like I love the Mexican cuisine. So I embrace it. I think other uh, thing is uh, we gel with each other a lot. No, like between him and I, with my mom, my my dad, uh, my brother, we like to gel with each other, and and it's part of our culture. It's just like um, no matter if he's close or not, we can call with each other and really be loud. Yeah, for the viewers that don't know, I'm living here in Mexico. You know, I'm here in Mexico, so. So I'm in my culture, I'm we're, my house. We're in, all, yeah. we're in minced in her culture right now, so. That's the thing, like, and I also think uh, I have to, like, be open to that. You know? yeah. If you're gonna be in an international relationship and you're in the, uh, your partner's um, country or home, you gotta embrace the culture there, because that's the way it's, like, it's gonna be easy for you guys. And also, I think Johnny is not the type of person who mm, like who was attached to the the how can I say like ceremonies and stuff in United States like attached to the culture in United States I think he already knew when we were coming to Mexico like he he came here with an open mind to like embrace a lot of stuff so he embraced of music he embraced our food he embraced our like um, parties And yeah, we drink, we drink too much. As as a person who who lives in the coast of Oaxaca, it's hot the most part of the year. So also, uh, 
like people who live in here, uh, they drink a lot of alcohol and, and it's normal. Here you can drink on the streets, for example, and you have a cerveza, you're walking around, that's normal, nobody's gonna tell you anything. So, but I think, especially for him, he's not the type of person who like, oh my God, we gotta do Christmas this day, we gotta do este, Thanksgiving. Oh yeah, uh, we celebrate we know, holidays. We know, we see. We celebrate, here we celebrate holidays uh, in a Mexican way. Yeah. Right? And he's always open to that. Uh, he never like asked me to do different uh, holidays and stuff. I'm not like a very this. holiday person, you know. I have my certain background on that and what I believe in. And that, you know, it's like, certain, I, I don't, I never really like, when I was little, that was cool, but then when I grew up, got aware of certain things. Yeah. Um, I'm not attached to the to those holidays. Yeah, me neither. Even uh, as a Oaxaca, I just like food. And yeah. Drinks. Yeah, I like food, <laughs> gifts. You know, those are things I just <laughs> yeah, really like. Yeah. Everybody know? like that. I mean, that's probably why people even still celebrate holidays. Mm. Um, okay, so back to the questions. Mm -hmm. um, things are challenging between us often, like when we're having, you know, misunderstandings. I think um, the most part of our misunderstanding is when I can't understand something he said in his language. And I get frustrated. He gets frustrated really easy. And uh, So it and takes patience, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. Patience is the key. And, and sometimes it's for different, um, different things. Like he said something, and sometimes it's because I don't know the meaning of one word. Sometimes it's because I know the meaning of all the words, but together it doesn't make sense to me. So I gotta know what he, like I know exactly the meaning and every, like each word, but I don't know what it means like in the whole sentence. And, yeah. and sometimes also I don't know how to ask him. Sometimes I just like, I don't understand, but he don't know exactly uh, my what new, I don't understand. <laughs> my new thing to ask her is like describe it. Describe what you're trying to say, because then that makes me like give her the right, what she's like the right word or the right context of what she's trying to say. Yeah. Because sometimes also is he speaking is the fast, and I can't catch what he's saying, right? Yeah. So I'm trying to like be more specific, like say it slow, say it another way. Our understanding exactly, or I don't know, is the the meaning of this word. And I think most of the time of our problems. Mm -hmm. With the with understanding each other is about my like my English is about like how far I can go in a conversation. But after that, even when we get mad, I think I think when I get mad with you, I think I'm more focused on my English. <laughs> yeah, I think right. I can say it. I don't feel like I need more words or more knowledge to let you know, like what I'm passing through. Right. Uh, I think I can really like let you know, like, man, this is what it's like. I don't like that, you know? Right. I don't feel it's no, you don't hard need, for me. You don't need too many. Yeah. And you can understand me, right? I can understand you, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I also have to explain a lot of my words um, with her. Like, even like, I'm trying to give an example, like, I don't know, just explain make sure I use the right context and not, not overdo the informalness. Like, or if I do use informal words, I have to explain that to her. So that's something that I'm more like, and I said this in the last podcast, I'm more aware of what I say to when I speak to her because I know that her native language is in English. So that's one thing. All right, next next thing is are we friends with other international couples we do actually have si. some international friends si. well we have one couple that has an international our international relationship i think uh, for me it, it is a different uh, way to uh, like approach to other couples with yeah. you because you speak english and i'm always trying to make you feel welcome everywhere we're going and yeah i think in or a uh, bobo, we gotta like find couples who speaks and understand English. Like yeah, maybe not true. like the perfect English, yeah, but at least they're understand. trying or they're like speaking and 
And yeah, the, the people who are like getting around is people who speak English, like Mexicans who speak English or no, we have a friend, she's French. No, no, she's a Canadian. Canadian, she Canadian? speaks Spanish. No, she speaks Spanish, and French. French and English. And English, pretty good. Yeah. Three of them. And, and yeah, we have like, I think most are Mexicans. There are yeah. Mexicans who know English. Exactly. And yeah. That's basically, yeah, all the friends. <laughs> see, see, because I think, I think for me as a Mexican, having a boyfriend who is from the United States or who speaks another language, yeah, it makes a little harder. I don't think really harder is the best um, word, but a little harder to approach to regular couples. Right. No? Or maybe we just, I don't know, it's, as I'm not like a really social person, so I don't, I don't take it too personal, but for him it's different to make friends here. No, yeah, as we I, like, say. I like making friends, you know, I like being social mm -hmm. and, and, and cheesement and <laughs> gossip. No, I don't really like gossip, but <laughs> I'm going out. I just like going, I like adventures. moving around. I like being adventurous, so. you know, so that's important for me. Um, one person, so we're gonna next, on to the next. One person has to be away from their home, you know, on the relationship, like has to be away from their home country. Completely, like away from family, away from you know, culture. basically culture, everything that they once knew and lived, and you know, it's part of them. I think you gotta take this one first. I can't get my point, but I think uh, I really can understand sometimes how you feel yeah. living here. So here, I'm I'm that person. For me, it's lonely at times, it's because. Um, unless like you have some friends that are like from the same country as you, you don't really have anybody to relate with exactly where you come and from. Also, you don't have your family, your friends that you, you held in, in the States. So that part is, you know, it's a little difficult um, for anybody, you know, but for me, for sure, because I'm really close to my, my family and my friends. But I do invite them to come out here and that's something that that would be cool to bring them into my world, into the world that I'm building here with Mariana, and they get they can come see and and that that's that's cool about living outside of your country. You get to have you get to show them a new experience, and yeah, that's that's really it for me. That when it relates to that, what were you gonna say about it? I think it took me a little bit of time to understand this. Yeah. Like for me, at first was like. Area. If you choose it, like if you choose moving out to Estados Unidos, United States and coming here to Mexico, like that was like in some ways your responsibility how you feel because he really chose it like consciously, no? Uh, at first I didn't understand how this like one thing is making the decision and another thing is like how you gonna get through to that decision you make and that implies um, emotions, uh, homesick, no? yeah. um, and a lot of different stuff, like shocks, no? cultural shocks. And, and I think it took me time and watching other podcasts and other people talking about this makes me realize what's hard for him. And I was not just like, oh yeah, I'm experiencing everything nice and and all oh, just like being Oaxaca or being Mexican is cool because we have a lot of cool stuff but I gotta look to the other side to like can be lonely yeah, no? sure. and uh, the, the humor the, the the way you like um, approach to people the relationship you have with them is different you know mm -hmm. and and that sometimes can could be hard no so I I'm gonna start to be more aware and try to be also more like understanding more, you know, mm -hmm. like be more open to to when I see him having these feelings of of like being alone, for example, he doesn't have that much friends here. <laughs> I'm trying no, to understand okay. now and I'm trying to like, okay, come on, we're going now that we went to this, we went to the last. I'm, I'm trying. And I think it's it's just, it's just about that. It's just about trying. It's about like helping each other, right? Yeah, and that's like with any relationship. Yeah, I want to do that. Um, but, but more where they're alone in other cultures. 
Course. Yeah, correct. More. More. And like, yeah, just adding on to what you said. Um, yeah, it just it's a lot of challenges when when you actually live in a different country because there's a difference between visiting and you know you have a you have a return date to go back to your country. So when you're kind of like here for you know infinite time or like what I mean uh, indefinite, you don't know when si, you're si, gonna si. be here for a while. Um, you really gotta adapt. And, and when you're making a family already, you have three gatos. Yeah, I'm making a well, yeah. Three cats. Three cats here, <laughs> and yeah, it's cool though. So it just takes time, you know. People might have it. It's all. I think it, it all depends on your who you are personally and how you can handle those things. Like, you know, me is probably hard. Some things are harder for me than it would be harder for you know. Some be else. easier for you. I guess the, me coming to learn the language. Yeah, but as we say in English, yeah, for, yeah. for me, like learning a, la a language is like different to each person. Mm -hmm. Some people push him to speak Espanol because he's living here. But I think uh, for me, it's not necessary, you know, like, like knowing everything in three weeks, no? Even if you practice every day, it's still like a process because you really um, will never like be, well, I don't know, I can't say never, but it's hard for it to get to like a native tongue, essentially. And even for me, speaking English. <laughs> yeah, even for her, she, you know, she speaks really good English. But there's a lot of things that like, you know, it's just different. You know, that ah, it's, yeah. But I, yeah, uh, the communication is there though. That's the most important thing. Same. Um, so yeah, but I'm learning slowly. I'm learning as my time and I'm, I'm, um, I'm enjoying the process. Yes, huh? <laughs> okay, the next one is uh, when we get into disagreement, you know, how does that look? But. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of talked about this. Earlier, but. Si, si. I think that's, for us, the the language is not a problem. Maybe our, our own emotions and the way we can solve the problem, like any other couple, like you have maybe different tools to uh, make the, or going to the solution in a disagreement, yeah. you know? But this is about, or how is it, temperaments? Yeah, uh, it's about our temperaments. See, tempers, uh -huh. Our tempers and our, like... See, it's, about, it's personal. Yeah. It's about how I am and how you are. It, but the, we really don't have an issue uh, coming from the language when we have a I think temperament. that's the more important part. I think communication, um, I think also sometimes, I don't know for us, I don't think it happens with us, but you know, some cultures find things more important. Um, like you might, when we talk about relationships, you know, like, hey, we gotta get married. Like it's, we've been together for like six, six months. We gotta get married. You know, maybe that's important in your culture and my culture, like we're like, you know, that's Same. like a, that's, Dang, y'all already want to settle down and make, you already want to settle down and make a family. And our, my culture, yeah. we're like, we'll take your time, brother. <laughs> yeah, I think in the, in the... Y'all are more open to like having children here. You know, like more making babies and starting a family. I don't know if we're more open. <laughs> y'all are like, but that's y'all, like but everybody I, I, wants I to I don't know start. if I could like call it being open. I'm not trying to mean like, but yeah, I don't it's know what you mean seeing, it. It's easy seeing people but like families. having with families, but I think I have, a, I think it's about also information and information, going to school, uh, or a lot of stuff, a lot, a lot of stuff. Because yes. sometimes all of, a, a lot of these childs, they're coming, they pop up, <laughs> like, they really don't have like a base relationship, a grounded relationship when they're like saying like, oh my God, is the we three years together now we're gonna have a baby. Yeah, some of them, but the most part of the population almost here, they just the had an accident, you know? I don't know, call it an accident, but they didn't expect it. But the, right? but the and they have it. Like, and, yeah. they usually push for that. Like, see, I want grandkids, see, see, I want see. This, like, that's true. And, and and here like y'all kind of come up as like a big family like not this household but other households 
Like y'all, like, see, we like big families. Like big families, Mexicans, they're, they're always together. And, you know, children come out of there, like, they pop up. <laughs> sí, <laughs> like, sí. Pop up, like, every year, like, new, new baby coming from the cousin or the brother or the sister or whatever. Um, it's, it's part of the culture. Yeah. I think it's not part of or my mindset of my family. No, but her, her family is different. Our family is chiquita, it's pretty small. So, yeah. but yeah, if you're seeing around, you're seeing everybody with child, everybody with new babies, um, families everywhere, even if they're like almost 20s, you know? Yeah. And they already have a family. That's true. Family. It's, it's exactly. normal. It's, it's normal. normal. I don't know if it's in, in the Estados Unidos, because in the United States, I don't know. we have that, it's just, uh, I don't know, it's, it's different here. It's like, we have it, but it's not as pop, not as, we don't have like families growing up with, like, it depends. If they're from, yeah. if they are from other cultures, usually that's how they are. That's what their cultures are, like the Asian cultures, Indian, oh. they, that live in the Estados Unidos, that live in the United Same. States. Uh, yeah, it's like that, but not like somebody that's from America. Maybe, maybe also it's because Guatulco is a small town, so we know we we know everybody here. You know, you say you talking to everybody here, even if you don't know them as a friend, you wanna like see their faces. You wanna be like, oh, the neighbor have a baby. You know, you know them, so yeah. it's it's small, yeah. so maybe it makes everything more like oh, you looking more maybe in a big cities. It's different because because it's more space, it's more different people, so you really don't yeah, bring attention true. to that stuff. That could, I don't be, know. that could be it. It's my uh, uh, I'm theory. Not sure. Do we have another question? Uh, that's really it. Honestly, we, we answered everything, guys. Um, that we have. I think there's gonna be a part two to this because there's a lot still yeah. to to uncover. And I think you know. Um, we're still learning as well because we're you know our relationship is two years now a little a little over two years over two years yeah legally two years yeah legally and um so we're still learning ourselves on you know what's what's the challenges and everything and uh you know hopefully she can come to my country and visit my family there we well, the you know, video that's that's gonna be coming soon hopefully it uh, makes me nervous what makes you nervous about it? My Mexican accent. <laughs> I feel uh, like sometimes I'm talking like Sofia Vergara. I love Sofia Vergara. I love and, it. And I love it. people in the United States love Sofia Vergara. Okay, I hope they're gonna they love do. me. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys. Well, yeah, thank you everybody. Thank you guys for tuning in on Soul Cafe Podcast. Make sure you subscribe and like and do all that good stuff. And, and ask questions about yeah put questions put comments you know things that you would love for us to talk about because we always welcome that you know we want to research and talk about more things that you know that you want our opinion on and it's gonna be fun you know thank you thank you Bye. peace love happiness all those things